I was honored to be chairman in 2000. That was uh, the year that Hal Sutton won, and it was a it was a Monday finish. We had had perfect weather for the entire week until two o'clock on Sunday afternoon, and then the skies opened up and it poured down. So we had to go to a Monday finish. You know, back then, that was the beginning of the Tiger Woods era, and things were already beginning to change tournament-wise. We were getting bigger crowds, more corporate entertainment, that kind of thing, all related to the impact that Tiger Woods was having on the tournament. But compared to today, it was still in its infancy. You look at 16, 17 holes today and the, the amount of corporate chalets and entertainment venues that are out there are mind boggling and people are paying incredible amounts of money to entertain out there. We had the beginnings of some of that, but it was, it, it was small compared to what it is today. The biggest highlight of, of my volunteer career was the year that I was chairman. I got to spend a day with a great golfing legend, Byron Nelson. He was still alive and active at that time and, and of course is the namesake of the Byron Nelson Classic in Fort Worth, Texas. This was back when the tournament was still in March and so he would come to our tournament specifically to recruit players to come play in his tournament and there wasn't a professional golfer alive that would ever turn Mr. Nelson down. So I had the opportunity that day that he was there to drive him around the golf course as the players were in their practice rounds and he would see Jeff Sluman off to the side or Davis Love or others and they would see him in the golf cart and it was just amazing both the admiration and respect they had for this living legend uh, of the uh, of the golfing world.